But first, let's get back to Aston, the brutal weekend there for the Liberal Party. I've taken you through uh, my thoughts and why they ended up where they did. Of course, there'll be a broader post-mortem and Liberals around the country are all looking for change. Now, it's beyond doubt that the Liberal Party in Victoria is broken. A state election they should have won last November. Of course, now Saturday's history-making loss in Aston. It's a Liberal heartland electorate in the outer suburbs of Melbourne. It's now gone back to Labor after over 30 years in the blue column. As Peter Dutton admitted yesterday, the Libs have a problem in Victoria. And it was, of course, the home state of the founder, Robert Menzies, a place where the party once thrived. Joining me now to discuss uh, this and where to now for the Liberals, Victorian Senator Jane Hume and the Executive Director of the Centre for Independent Studies, Tom Switzer. Tom, dire times, of course. Let's start with a positive, though. You noted today in the Australian, the Libs have been here before and they've always bounced back. Can they do it again? Well, I think Victoria is probably a bit different. As John Howard says, it's the Massachusetts of Australia. Uh, the centre of political gravity in Victoria is well to the left of where it is elsewhere across the continent. But to answer your question, yes, anyone who's studied modern political history knows that both major parties, both Labor and uh, the Liberal Party, whenever the pundits and even politicians give them the kiss of death, it's just mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Mm. And political circumstances can change very quickly in this business and without warning, and particularly if there is indeed an economic crisis on the horizon, um, there will be a reckoning with the electorate, and I think the Liberals will be in a pretty good position to pounce on that. But uh, don't write off either major party. I mean, 10 years ago, the Labor Party was in dire straits. So circumstances can change, Peter. Look, you're spot on, and I always say, yeah, you don't turn around a political ship until you're confident you've hit rock bottom. You've got to hit rock bottom, and everyone acknowledge that and be prepared to sort of move on some things that were sacred cows. 